and welcome back to Little Broken Sword Part 2. We are here in London, England. That was a terrible accent, but that's what you get. Anyway, somebody just stole the Jaguar Stone, and it was UBA. And now we're not allowed to leave. I didn't steal the stone. I was nowhere near it. So who do you suppose did steal it? It must have been Oubillé. Oh, begging your pardon, but he's a man of letters. A professor. Who cares? So was Moriarty. Man of letters or not, he's your culprit. Don't you think it's suspicious that Oubillé has urgent business at the docks? Not in the slightest, young lady. He's gone to oversee the unloading of cargo. Yep. An exhibition of Mayan sculpture on loan from Mexico City. But What's the name of the ship? The Zibalba Princess. Okay. Moored down by Tower Bridge. Why do you ask? Hmm. Just wondering. Thank you. You've been most helpful. That's where we're headed. The giggling girls got anything more for us? I doubted the girls would be any help to me. Let's just try and get the hell out of here. He did say nobody could leave him. Anyway. I'm sorry, miss, but I shall have to ask you to stay. Oh, but surely you don't suspect me of stealing the stone? No, but you will have to make a statement to the police. Oh, You're well, a witness. Talk to him. <clears throat> All right, so we gotta get the fuck out of here. Please. I didn't need to make a call. Sure did need to make a call. We got here a dagger. Is that the dagger of Amon Ra? The cabinet contained a dagger decorated with Mayan designs. <clears throat> of course it's gonna be locked. The cabinet was locked. Does she have anything in her inventory? She just got her purse. What do we got in here? There was nothing very useful in my bag. Just a single hair clip. Can we use that to pick a lock? That's the kind of thing Georges would do. Not me. So we gotta distract this guy. Those giggles in the background. It was the <clears throat> obsidian mirror which Drake had given to John D. See, that seems like something we need to. Is she not going to let me do this? Is this going to be a George thing too? That's the kind of thing. Let's try the hair clip. Let's try the bag on the girls. Is she gonna shrug or is it gonna I work? I doubted the girls would be any help to me. I doubted the girls would be any. <laughs> there was a small key in the lock. Oh, can we snag that key? Okay, now do we want the dagger or do we want the, the obsidian glass? Or do we want both? I kind of want both. I mean, obviously security is not very good. The cabinet was locked. Yeah, that's why we wanted to use the key on it there, Nico.
I mean, he can't see me. He's off screen, right? The key didn't fit this lock. Why didn't it work on this one? It didn't give me that same message. Oh, it takes so long to walk everywhere. The key unlocked the case. I could have swore I tried that last time. Let's take the key back. I locked the case again and took the key. Oh, no, no. The key unlocked the case. Okay. Now give me the dagger. I locked the case again and took the key. Okay, now do we break open? <clears throat> it looked totally different. No? Making sure. Should we talk to the homeboy again, maybe? I didn't need to make a... You need, you need to call fucking George. Let's try it while we're here. Please, miss. Don't go. Okay. Oh, you're awful nice, Nico. Do we want to put the key back in there? It's okay. I'm just looking around. I want to save it. I want to ask him about the key. Look at this. The thief left this key in the cabinet. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. That makes the theft an inside job, right? Oh dear. <laughs> in other words, the thief was Professor Hooky. Well, let's leave that for the police to decide, shall we? I better phone them right away. We're gonna make a run for it. Yeah, I definitely didn't want to probably ask about the dagger. Or maybe I did. But it took him ten minutes to walk over there. Hello? I knew I had nothing to worry about if the police were called. Yes, I'll hold. But I had to catch up with Oubillé. And fast. I think it's got something to do with this curtain. The doors were securely locked. We got a key though. The ancient dagger did the trick? Yes it does! I levered the handle open with the thin dagger. Meanwhile, back at Cat's Landing. 
All right, so we're back to George. All right, we're, trying, we're inside the museum The room now. had been decorated to resemble the interior of a sailing ship. It was disturbingly effective. It was a beautifully crafted model of a sailing ship. Can we take anything with it? The ship looked too fragile to touch. It was an old book with spidery writing covering the open pages. March 20th, 1670 fix. Engaged frigate off Fan Falvador? It was garbage. San Salvador. Huh. I guess being a pirate didn't require too many academic qualifications. The passage went on to describe how Ketch had got wind of the approach of a fleet of English ships. It seemed the new governor had not shared his predecessor's views on Ketch's activities. They were out for his blood. Sailed to that place where I made secure my fortune. I returned safe in the knowledge that the governor shall not discover that which I had hidden. For is it not writ that tis easier for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle? Okay, so where he made his fortune from. It was one of those old pens made out of a feather. Steal and everything, George. That might come in useful in ticklish situations. Use it on the top surface of the desk had a large recessed area set into it. I guessed it was intended to stop things rolling off in heavy seas. There was also an inkwell and the small hole where the quill had been. <laughs> it was an indented well in the corner of the desk. I guess it was intended to hold ink, but it seemed unnecessarily wide. Maybe Ketch had used it to hold his rum bottles steady in heavy seas. I think we need to put something in there. It was firmly attached to the desk. That looked like that's where it was supposed to be, so I left it there. No, okay, well, let's look around. It was an actual pirate ship chart. I think something goes in the inkwell. Okay, I've had my hands on an historical document. Now what? I mean, I don't know what we're doing, but yeah, it's, it makes a pretty good sense that it goes over here, right? The chart fitted exactly into the recess on the top of the desk. Let's keep looking around. What's in the sea it chest? It was Captain Ketch's sea chest. Its battered appearance hinted at salty tales of maritime adventure and swashbuckling. Long months at sea with a rum-sodden, mutinous crew, hard tack and scurvy. <laughs> and this chest, full to the brim with Ketch's loot. Pearls, diamonds, emeralds, and doubloons. On the other hand, it could have been full of spare blankets. Let's go see. We still have a whole half side of the room to look at. We haven't made it very far. Hmm. Surprise! Oh. <clears throat> it's a little girl that Rio likes. What is she doing?
What's this girl's name? Emily? I think that might what have been the... what it is. Who are you? I'm Emily. What were you doing in there, Emily? Hiding. What are you doing here? Uh, Grown-up stuff. Grown-ups? I'm never going to grow up. I'm not. You shouldn't be here. What's your name? I'm George. Pleased to meet you, Jaws. George. <laughs> Jaws? Jeez. Make your mind up. What can you tell me about Captain Ketch? That's him on the wall, in the picture. Yeah? In the picture. Boy, that's interesting. He was a sailor captain. This is his house. Why don't you go play with Rio? I'm not allowed. How come? Because Aunt Frost says I'm not allowed out of the house. That's why, Mr. Nosy Beak. <laughs> Too bad. Why don't you ask your other aunt if you can play with Rio? Aunt Mina's cuckoo. Aunt Frost says so. <laughs> she says when the Lord handed out common sense, Aunt Mina was off getting double portions of chin. Oh, wow. That Rio's a smart kid. He helped me out with Bronson. Rio is clever. He can spit ever so far. <laughs> All right, you ever see a stone like this? <clears throat> Look, an ancient Mayan stone. Is that a magic stone? Well, I don't know about that. No. Ah, I do know about that. Would you like to play darts? No. Oh, come on. I'll throw, you catch. That's dangerous. Darts will stick in me and make me bleed. <laughs> George is threatening to kill a kid. Do you know how to use a theodolite? We don't learn anything about surveying at my school. Not until fifth grade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, what's, it what was else, Captain... What else is in the sea chest? Was there anything in there besides a kid? Sword on the wall. A cutlass. Nothing? Okay. Oh, that's Maybe cool that wheel was from Ketch's ship. Suddenly, I was 12 years old again. Oh, that's cool. Hard a port, bosun! Aye, aye, Captain Stobart. She cannot take it, Captain. <laughs> My lad's dead. Abandon ship. That was a little scotty. That wasn't so much, uh... Captain Frederick Ketch, 1570. Around his neck was a cross. Hmm. Maybe he was a part-time pirate. Or maybe he really wasn't a pirate. It was a ship's bell. Two bells and all's well. Pirates were cool. George is a dork. It was a shiny and very sharp-looking pirate's cutlass. It would have been easy to reach the cutlass and slip it in my pocket. It would also have been the most regrettable action of my life. Okay, why? All right, let's go down to the barrel. It was an old wooden barrel. Maybe it was from Ketch's ship. I should have known better than to put my hand in there. Grandma Stobart had a nasty experience in a water butt once. What? It was an old... Alright, so everything we need is in here. Let's talk to Emily again. Maybe we can look at the chart, actually. We never actually looked at it. Why don't you run along and play? Aunt Mina told me. 
Stay out of mischief. Well, that doesn't mean you have to stay indoors, does it? On a beautiful day like today? There's a storm coming. Oh, nuts. You don't know that. I do so. I can see the whole world from the window. Yeah, well, like I said, I'm busy. That cross hmm. you're wearing, Emily. It's my lucky Jesus cross. It's just like the one Captain Ketch wore. Uh-huh. Can I borrow it? Uh-uh. She said, uh-huh. What did you trade for that cross, Emily? A puppy. Well, I don't happen to have a puppy in my pocket right now. Lipstick. Can you think of anything else you'd trade? Don't know. She wouldn't have been interested. Oh, all the kids like makeup. Okay, this is kind of creepy, but let's try it. She wouldn't have been interested. Yeah, good. The eclipse? She wouldn't have been interested. The scary statue? She wouldn't have been interested. We're going to need the reflector. She wouldn't have been interested. What does she want to trade for? There were several things. I think the cross goes inside the inkwell. That looked like that's where it was supposed to be. The desk had obviously been... Bronson's going to be pissed when we realize we robbed him, too. That's all the time we have for today, so drop those likes if you haven't already. Drop subs if you're new. And next time, we will see if we can't figure out what to do here.